Essential tremors come from a neurological disorder that impacts many people. In fact, it's estimated 5% of people over 60 experience the tremors, making everyday tasks really difficult. Doctors at the Swedish Neuroscience Institute are using focused ultrasound to treat the tremors. And Dr. Tony Wong, a leading expert in the field of focused ultrasound, joins me now. I'm going to ask you exactly what that means in a second, but first of all, let's talk about essential tremors. What is happening in the brain and how does it affect people's daily life? Sure. Um, a central tremor is a condition which people have a movement disorder in which they have uncontrollable movements. Okay. Uh, essentially, if you want to think about it from a 30,000 foot view, there's a small area in the brain that is overactive, right. which leads to people having uncontrollable movements. So frequently this manifests in people's hands. Okay. And so when they're trying to do daily tasks like feed themselves, dress themselves, write their names. Yeah. These are severely impacted by tremor. This is a severe thing because if you can't feed yourself, if you can't do these daily tasks, your life is very difficult. Absolutely. But there's ways to fix this? Correct. So what we were just talking about as we, we first started talking about the story is that people hear this ultrasound word and they think, oh, it's a scan. But focused ultrasound is different, right? What is that? Absolutely. So when you hear about ultrasound in medicine, people think about scans, mm -hmm. frequently, you know, looking at babies or what have you. Yeah. Uh, focused ultrasound, as the name implies, uh, takes about a thousand individual ultrasound beams and they focus down to a size of about a green pea. Ooh. And where they converge, they can heat tissue. And so we can direct this tiny focus of concentrated ultrasound energy to burn that small overactive spot in the brain to treat tremors. Wow, without cutting anything. Correct, so we can do that without cutting your scalp open, drilling a hole in your skull. That's incredible. Yeah. So how is this, you know, we were talking about not cutting anything open and, and non-invasive surgical methods. How helpful is this for not just the, the doctor, but the patient healing as well? Absolutely. So uh, traditionally, uh, essential tremor has been treated through a open brain surgery. And so uh, the kind of traditional surgery that's been around for multiple decades mm -hmm. is something called deep brain stimulation. This involves placement of wires or electrodes into this overactive area. The wire then runs underneath the skin to a battery pack into the chest. Whoa. And so this electrode provides electrical stimulation to jam up these overactive signals. And that's a very effective therapy. Right. However, for a lot of patients, they are put off by the invasive nature of having wires in their brain or a battery pack in their chest. Yeah. And so ultrasound can treat this exact same area although through a completely different method. This is amazing. You've seen firsthand how this can change lives. Tell me about, let's talk about Bill. Yeah, absolutely. Bill's a very nice gentleman. He's from Shelton. Uh, he had a long history of essential tremor. Uh, he trialed the medications. However, the medications weren't working, so he was seen by us for consideration of focused ultrasound. Mm -hmm. um, he had a very typical classic story in which he had difficulty writing his name, cooking, eating, feeding himself, all these daily tasks that yeah. you and I just take for granted. We take for granted, Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. And so we treated him in uh, October or November of last year, and he's thrilled with the results. So is it almost, how quickly does it work? Sure. So the procedure takes place over the course of two to three hours mm -hmm. in the morning, and patients come in, they have a very severe tremor, and then the goal is, after the procedure, their tremors significantly improve. That's amazing. So it's almost instant results. I and, and I hear people are hearing about this around the country. Yeah. I understand two sisters from Arizona came here yeah. to Seattle to see you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, recently, we met uh, two sisters who used to live in the Pacific Northwest, but now live in Arizona, and they came to us specifically for this treatment. We treated them uh, several weeks ago, and they're absolutely thrilled with their results. This really highlights how trusted the Swedish Neuroscience Institute is, that patients will travel here, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, Swedish is the only institution in the state of Washington with this technology. We're one of the first uh, hospitals in all of the nation to have this technology and we see patients from all over the Pacific Northwest and the West Coast in general for uh, evaluation treatment. 
You just sitting here with you. You have a very calming presence, <laughs> um, which is good when, when you're working with a brain surgeon. Uh, but tell me about your approach to patient care and, and why that matters. Sure. Uh, my approach to patient care would be like you know treat someone as you would want to be treated, or mm -hmm. you would want someone in your own family to be treated, right? And so we take extra time to personalize everybody's needs and kind of tailor a individualized treatment plan for every patient because every patient has their own individual desires, needs, and, and wants. Right. Thank you so much for your time. This has been so fascinating chatting Absolutely. with you. And you can find out more about how focused ultrasound works. And if you or a loved one are a good candidate for this, just go to the website on your screen. And we'll also have more information on our website.